small t trauma and domestication is like your parents are essentially loving you as the way they were loved. And so they're doing always the best that they can based on their own experience of that, no matter what it is. And I would just go as far as to say that that's actually always the case for people. Um, <laughs> and I know that there's probably a challenge of really accepting that, but uh, it, it is really just the case. Like if people actually knew the truth, <laughs> they they would uh, not actually see it the other way. And that's why I think like the saying when Jesus was like hung on the cross is one of the most accurate sayings. It's like when he said, uh, forgive them for they know not what they do. Uh, he didn't say forgive them for they know what they do, right? right? And that distinction was a very important distinction, right? Meaning that the unconscious behaviors that they were carrying out was just a inability to understand the full self-realization and that when you harm someone else, you're harming yourself. And so he was able to stay in the nature of compassion and openness and love because he knew that anything of closure, contraction, or fear was would, would ultimately hurt him and then carry over to hurt others as well. So it was a form of alchemy, a form of transmutation because of all of the self-realization that he had done and despite the sensations of being nailed to the cross and just like being crucified and all of that, which like from the primitive side of the mind would be like, well, how could you? <laughs> you know, uh, the reaction is like love is accepting all things as it is, just the way it is, right? So his nervous system had been able to receive, like his heart was wide open. But even he yeah. went through a time where he had to come to the acceptance of that, which yes. I think is very important. Yes, the process. Like, <laughs> even those who have this big L love, it doesn't keep from the process. Yes. And yes. that I feel helps people understand, like no matter where we are on our journey, there's still moments because it's kind of folds in on itself. We're mm -hmm. all there. And so how do you navigate the process is the key. Yes. How do you stay open enough to navigate the process instead of contracting? Yes. Right? Exactly. That just goes to the trauma discussion, right? The big T, little T. And you had mentioned death by a thousand cuts, right? Yes. Or, so. Yeah, and that's the way I think most people discredit their own pain and suffering is, you know, they see uh, the, the order of magnitude of someone else's and then they're like, oh, well, I didn't experience that. It's like, well, most abuse, 98, 99% <laughs> is done by ourselves, right? And mm -hmm. so like we come across the nature of like what has been done to us, we absorb that into the nature of our consciousness, our nervous system, and that gives way to the pattern of thinking that we identify as self. And then the ability to like work through all of that is really the path towards healing. And so the ability is to meet ourselves exactly where we are, right? And so that's part of where like, I think religion goes, you know, a little off uh, is, is what you're speaking to, right? Is like this, this idea that we need to be somewhere where we're not. And then people start trying to project in the nature of the mind, yeah. right? And so, yeah, the, that, that was actually spoken to. <laughs> A little bit in terms of like the worshiping of like a false deity or a golden calf and like jesus never intended for that to take place uh in fact it was very representative of just the nature of his whole path like he was like born supposedly as a jew right and then like ended up as a christian and like he wasn't really like he didn't care necessarily about the identification of anything identification is in the nature of the mind right it's sort of an egoic construct where we hide behind as a way of like projecting so we don't have to accept all of ourselves and to feel all of ourselves. And so the nature of the process is all we have, right? Because the process is the uh, eternal now, right? To, to be anywhere where you are not yeah. is to be in this sort of orientation towards an outcome or a nature of an identification. So that's where all suffering lies. And so that's where like, you know, of course, like, you know, learning about these things is part of that process, you know, and as we learn, sometimes the judge becomes stronger and like, oh, we should be something other, we should be compassionate in this moment. And uh, that, that's part of the recognition. The piece to go back to is like, as you do like practices like meditation or practices like breath work or things that help us expand the nature of moving from a reaction to a response is where that sort of increases in our ability to choose.